Santo. Yeah. Wait. No, this can't be right. Where's your evidence yet? Where's your evidence? You need evidence. You need proof. Without any proof, you can't pin any of this on him. Evans Mondo is the killer. They already revealed this stuff earlier in the trial. All I have to do is check back on that one item of his, and everything will become clear. You element is the bullet time battles. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. Absolutely. fucking lootly fam. Let's talk about, about Fever Time and Nega Time. During a bullet time battle, if you press the space key, Fever Time will activate and the tempo will be forced to its max. At this point, even if you press the buttons at random, you won't miss. At this point, you can press RB, L LMB, RMB, LMB, however you want to destroy the opponent's verbal assault. If it's only last year, your focus gauge runs out, so you best make the best possible use of your time. Of course, it wouldn't be unfair if only you got access to special time, right? It also prepare something called Nega Time that your opponent can use. If opponent activates Nega Time during the bullet time battle, your tempo marker will disappear, making it quite a bit tougher to... Fuck! That's annoying. I'm sure, like, so just save it for Nega Time then. The opponent won't use Nega Time if I'm gentle. Well, good luck, have fun. Hang on. Jesus, dick in Christ. And I've got to fight Taka? Just... There you go, I got it. I got- I got combos on you, fam! Oh god, no! Tempo up! Oh no, just fucking- Nah! Nah, you can't stop me! I got your tempo down, fam! BAM! I got you! I didn't even need that! I had the tempo down! If my thinking so far is right, Mondo must replace his broken handbook with Leon's. In which case, we can just check each of our handbooks right now. Once we get to do that, we'll... We don't gotta do that. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I did it. I killed her. My dude. B-A-A-A-A. -A -A. How did I get a fucking A rank on all of that? I ate shit super hard. Jesus. Yeah, 88 medals. Yeah, I did it. I did it. Bro, bro, what are you saying? I got no choice, man. For hearing all that, I just gotta just give up. Oh man, Mondo. Mondo, why did you do it, man? Why did you do it? Go ahead, Monokuma, get it over. Like, at least he's going to it with some dignity. At the very least, like, like he has enough dignity to just be like, Yeah, no, I done did it. I done fucking just like a quick mystery. I'm the killer. Except it wasn't very quick, was it? Like, Taka had to be the one to be like, No, show us the proof is all. Ask for the goddamn verdict. Roger that. V Fate, hold on. No hitting, you're holding on. Time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Grab your lever and give it a yank. Who you elect is the blackened this time around. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Everyone votes for Mondo, but why did he do it? Why did he do it? Why did you do it? Like, for real, like, why did he do it, though? With Leon, we figured out, oh, it was, it was self-defense, but... This just came out of nowhere. Why? What was the motive? I never got any motive out of this. Yes, it's so. The black and the kill to hero Fujisaki was. Mando Awaja. Oh, this is going to be an ironic death, just like Leon's. Oh, oh God. Motorcycles can be so fucky, fucking, like, mean when they kill someone, though. 
In case you're wondering, the vote was not unanimous. Kiyotaka chose the wrong... Oh... Kiyotaka would rather die than let Mondo... Oh, but that is so, like... Like, it was, it was just two bros. Two bros. He's like, nah, I'd rather die, though. I'd rather die than let my bro die. Oh. You're treading really close to the danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. I, I refuse to believe it. There's no way. No way he could kill someone. Go menosai, friend. But why did you do it, Mondo? V why are you apologizing? Why, 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 why? Why? Why did you do it, please? We need the closure. Why did you kill our little cinnamon roll? Well, looks like Mondo's taking a vow of silence. Let me to explain on his behalf. So yeah, the murder in this time is the sad story of two men. But for anyone who doesn't really want to hear it, you can hit the control key. Fast forward to <laughs> Oh, okay. I didn't even know that was a functionality, but no, it's fine. Anyway, there was once a young boy, and his name was Chihiro Fujisaki. He had an extreme inferiority complex regarding his own lack of strength. You're so weak, even though you're a boy. And he heard things as long as he could remember, he couldn't overcome his weakness. On the contrary, he tried to hide and buried himself further and further into that weakness, to take on a fragile form of a petite young trap. He had chosen that as his way out. Now nobody will be able to say it even though you're a boy. No matter how t But no matter how tightly he wraps himself up in that shell, the inferiority complex had already taken root deep inside of him and was not so easily weeded out. As it turns out, the shell was completely empty. Oh, okay then. The complex didn't disappear. Instead, it only grew stronger and stronger. I'm weak. Oh no, weak, 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 oh no, sadness. So sad. Once the killing game begun here at the school, he had no choice but to accept this fact. After all, as well as survival of the fittest, if you're not strong, you don't survive. And that lovely and hateful Monokuma's revealing of embarrassing secrets, which of course includes Chihiro's embarrassing secret, which I was more than willing to divulge. Even though he dresses like a girl, Chihiro is actually- That was his secret? But no, Chihiro didn't cave to murder, so Chihiro was at least like strong-willed him to be like, Okay, if everyone's gonna find out, it's gonna suck, but okay. Like... And now it's done, Chihiro couldn't let anyone find out, no matter the cot. What the fuck? The hard shell would crack and the armor would fall, but Chihiro didn't do any murders. The surround him would torture him more- I would never do that. I can't think of anyone in this. In this game that would do that. Everyone here is more or less a nice person except Byakuga. And maybe Genocide Jack, but she's fine. She's fine enough. Everyone figured Big Thrust such a dilemma must have sent him spiraling into despair. And yet! I'm uh, sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I could talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell every... So he was doing the exercise so he could, so he could become confident, so he wouldn't be upset when they revealed his true gender. So I don't think he was actually like identifying as a woman. I, with that, I think it might just be. I think that might just be cross-dressing, like not transgender, but like transvestite, like Eddie Izzard level stuff. Annoyingly, he used the threat of discovery to motivate himself to become stronger. Who does that? Now's my chance. I'm gonna get stronger and accept who I am. Strong enough to when someone says, even though you're a boy, I'll be okay. I'll get better. But that's all the front of his mind. He resolved to take immediate action. And so... That day, he made the commitment to begin exercising. He's prepared to retrain his mind and body. But sadly, that'd be the first and only chance he would get at it. When he decided to start exercising, he thought it'd be a good idea to ask for someone's help. But he wanted to tell that person's secret first and ask him for help from there. And the person he went to. It was me! It was me, Austin! Yep, it sure was. 
The biker gang fellow had been pit painfully clear about how important his manly promises were. So Chihiro probably figured even if he consulted Mondo, his honor would probably make him keep the secret. Plus, Mr. Macho Mondo is a very symbol of strong men that Chihiro had always aspired to. If only she'd ma if only she'd gone to if only she'd gone to Makoto. Like Makoto is not super strong, but at least Makoto like I can choose like yeah no I'm not gonna reveal your secret then that's fine. And I I get the feeling that Makoto probably wouldn't be like against doing some exercise here and there. If 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 she'd gone to literally anyone else, I don't know why Mondo did it. But it's probably because his secret has some dirt about him being a criminal. Like a super big criminal. Like, nah. I wouldn't, like, as much as I love Mondo as a person, like, his past, his history, no, he's, he, he's a criminal. Like, criminals inherently cannot be trusted. Maybe talking to Mondo about it will give me some courage. So he went... So he went and asked Mondo to help him become strong. That was a Monokuma line. That was his aspiration. And he thought that only with Mondo's support could he ever overcome close to that. So then it must be why Mondo did what he did. To keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro. Oh, and he moved them from the boys to the girls! You mean that's why Mondo carried Chihiro from the boys' locker room to the girls' locker room? Yes, that is exactly what I mean. It wasn't a cover-up what he'd done. That could have been part of it, but I don't think that was the main reason. The real purpose was to keep the promise between men he'd made to Chihiro. But out is moving the body, keep his... Owie? Don't think so hard, dear, just keep your mouth shut, and the adults will finish talking. Because if everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, then everyone would have been arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room, right? Once that started up, at least few of us would have immediately begun to suspect his identity, so... He tried to protect Chihiro's secret by putting him in the girls' locker room and stealing his handbook, see? Then Mondo did all that to keep the promise he made to Chihiro? Who he'd also killed? Uh, gritted teeth noises. Why would he do that? The more I hear you talk, the more I don't understand. I mean, you guys trusted each other, right? So why? Why did you... Because no matter what, I didn't want anyone to know. So that's what triggered. So, so that's what triggered it after all. The possibility of having your embarrassing memories and secrets exposed. That's impossible. Nothing could have been that bad. Something you didn't want anyone to know, even if it meant killing someone. It's impossible. How many times must I repeat myself? To judge others by your own standard is the height of folly. Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can. That's all there is to it. Well, 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 while we're on the subject, why don't I tell you? That embarrassing memory, the secret he didn't want anyone to know. You know what Mondo did? He killed his own brother. He killed before. Killed before. Would not be surprising if he did it again. If he hadn't killed anybody, I would have been surprised. He's a fucking biker. <laughs> Wait, did I notice this before? His gang is called the Crazy Diamonds. That's a, oh, that's a JoJo reference right there. Mondo, the ultimate biker gang leader, makes all the hoodlums at Riff Raff across the country tremble. But the only reason he had the chance to join a gang in the first place was because of a certain someone. And his brother also has Josuke hair. Mondo's older brother's name was Dio Owada. Mondo had nothing but respect for him. It was because of Dio that Mondo ever got on a motorcycle. Why is his coat white there? Mondo's older brother was the only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. He wanted to measure up to his Onichan, Onisan, so he imitated him in everything he did. Mondo was the epitome of the starry-eyed kid brother. Meanwhile, the charismatic older brother put together a local motorcycle gang, and before anyone knew it, they had grown into the biggest biker gang in the country. Daya, the older brother, number one in the gang, and his number two, his younger brother, Mondo. 
In the beginning, everything was peaches and gravy. But when Mondo started to think about how he would have to take over the gag from his brother someday, his brother's greatness, his reputation began to gnaw Mondo's very soul. The kid's gonna take over for Daya, huh? Daya created this gang with his bare hands. Mondo is just along for the ride. Can someone like that really be our leader? All they'll do is make the gang look bad. Almost every day, Mondo heard the gossip and whispers of the other members of the gang. Which is why... I gotta get stronger. Stronger than Daya. Just one more time. Just once. Just one time. No matter what, I gotta win. I don't care what it takes, I gotta come out on top. And on the night of his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo challenged him to a street race. But during the race, tragedy struck. Oh. The kid brother pushed ahead with reckless abandon, eager for victory, and dashed into oncoming traffic. But suddenly... His brother saved him at the cost of his own life. Oh my god. Oh god, no. That's worse than him just outright killing him. That's worse. I would think I would have preferred it if, if Mondo just fucking stabbed him in the face. Oh, and he didn't have Josuke here. He just had like a pompadour. Laying in his kid brother's arms, the older brother delivered his final words. My bad, kid. I fucked up. Of course, he knew it was his brother's fault, but Daya never blamed him for what happened. Hey, kid. The rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep this gang together. Cause that's the team you and me put together. It's a, pr a promise between men. See you later, space cowboy. He decided to tell like the truth what happened from everyone else in the gang. In order to keep the gang together and keep the promise to his brother, he could never admit to anyone his own weakness that had caused the accident. And as a result, the team was made even stronger under the banner of the kid who'd bested his older brother. Daya was gonna lose to his kid brother so he got stupid and got himself killed. That became the explanation of what happened. Mondo's lie became the truth. So he threw his brother under the bus to keep the gang together. Oh, fuck. And if the secret actually got out to the real world, then the gang would have fallen apart. Fuck, he was really caught in a rock and a hard place, wasn't he? But still murdering Chihiro, like, a gang's a gang. Doesn't matter, they're just gonna go off and be criminals somewhere else. He's willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. I'm strong. Strong, 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 strong. And yet... As soon as our killing game began, he realized, no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling that could die in an instant. And then the lovely Heifa Monokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets. At that point, it was clear I would have no problem shedding light on his secret. Mondo killed his own older brother. <laughs> no matter what, I couldn't let the other gang members find out. If that happened, everything would have been ruined. Everything me and my brother worked to create would have been destroyed. His death, all the guilt I've been carrying around, it would have been for nothing. So that's why. That's why I... I... Mondo. It wasn't worth killing Chihiro. You fucking... You killed someone who literally could not have fought back. Why couldn't you have gone out fighting against someone who could have fought back? Like Sakura or someone. After I saw Monokuma head on me. My head filled up with a kind of fuzzy uneasiness and just started swirling around. I'd never felt anything like it before. I didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure what to think or say, but after a while, that fuzzy uneasiness turned itself into a rock-hard lump of anxiety way down in my stomach. And it was right around then that Chihiro asked me to start working out with him. And right there, I... He told me a secret. Seriously? Jesus! Yeah, sorry I lied to you, Commander Sai. But why? Why Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Huh? Because, I mean, you've kept the secret all this time, right? If anyone found out, you would... You're right, but... I want to change. I've wrapped myself in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. I want to learn how to suplex it with the Dark Hado. His words were like a knife in my gut. 
I felt like he was exposing the lie I'd been living myself. So you were just as weak of a person as Chihiro, and when Chihiro decided... When Chihiro, despite being smaller and tinier than you, and pretending he had a vagina for so damn long... And he came out with the secret, you felt so pathetic that you turned around and you bashed his skull in. Fuck you, Mondo. I have to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. You're so strong, it can't hurt you, right? Whatever secret my Akuma might tell us. So what, you're saying I should just say it? You're saying if I really am, I should just be able to tell everyone my secret? Huh? I was jealous. I was jealous of Chihiro's strength. He had the strength to face his own weakness to try and overcome it. It was the kind of strength I had never had. So I was jealous of him. And that jealousy broke me. Are you making fun of me? I'm strong, are you fucking with me right now? I, I'm not making fun of you, you really are strong, Mondo. Oh, jeez. I felt like I could hear something starting to creak. So he literally... This was literally him being unable to control his impulse. It's the same thing that caused Monokuma to explode the first time. He's a, he's a violent fucking psychopath. He's a violent fucking psych- The second something starts to go, like... It's like Josuke with his hair, except it's like a much more... Except it's like, it's, it's... It's much more, um... What's the word? Generalized. It's like, Josuke goes crazy when you talk about his hair, but he hasn't killed anyone about it. Fucking... Uh, Mondo's tried to kill two people. Something inside my head. What did he want me to do? I was, what was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to just sit back and my secret revealed <laughs> and ruin everything? I got hiccups now. What? What's wrong? Why did you have to tell me all that? Are you trying to rub my failure in my face? No, I, I just, I really admire you. My, you, I want you to be my senpai. I admire your strength. That's right, I am strong. Strong, I'm strong. Strong, 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 strong. Stronger than you. And stronger than Daya. I don't remember anything after that. When I woke up again, he was lying at my feet, covered in blood. <laughs> I've got a fucking hiccups now. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, that's awful. Good thing this is the end of the session, <laughs> session almost. I had the dumbbell in my hand, and I was just staring at him, down on the ground. Hey! hey. I... I killed him. I killed Chihiro. Even after all this time, I'm still just as weak as i always, always been. And thanks to that, I did something I can never take back. Mahond... Mahondo, man. He was normally so aggressive, so angry. He hit that weak side away from everyone. That was his secret. A weakness like that lived in a heart like his. And it turned him cold-blooded. God damn it! Ha 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 Look at him, you see? You're all just like him. Weak, pathetic assholes. <laughs> for a secret from the past, for a memory. For that, he killed another living human in cold blood. That's hilarious. <laughs> he couldn't cut free of his regrets from the outside world. He doesn't know what true strength is. <laughs> Do you see hope anywhere in there? Because I sure as hell don't. You bastard. You ba bastard. Just shut up, you son of a bitch. Go ahead, say that again, I dare you. <laughs> okay, I say as many times as I want. It's what I want to say, but... Unfortunately, I can't do that right now, because it's time for the punishing is fast approaching. P punishing Ah, oh, damn it. You mean... Execution? That's what I promised you, right? The black and disturbs of peace must be punished. <laughs> Hold on. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment for Mondo Awada, the ultimate biker gang leader. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Let's give it everything we got. It's punishment time. I said, I said, fate. Sorry, man. I couldn't keep the promise we made from one man to another. Oh. 
Game over. Mondo has been found guilty. Time for punishment. What's this gonna be? I'm not a f I I don't wanna I don't wanna see this, but I have to. He's tied to a motorcycle? What the fuck? And Monokuma has got his fucking haircut. The steel ball? Cage of death. I like how Monokuma has got his fucking haircut though. That's good. That's good shit. Oh, and he just pieces out. Okay, how is this gonna kill him? It's electrified? How does this cause a death? Like... Did it? How did that kill him? The electricity was outside the cage. Did like... Oh no, it vaporized him, didn't it? Oh! Oh no, no, it didn't. It blended him into butter. It blended him into pa paste. That's disgusting. That's gross, that's mean. Laugh at death and your soul will forever be at peace. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> it's... Can't be! My brother! Another murder and another execution. <laughs> I want to feel again. Everyone's lives are taken so lightly here. I feel like I might be going mad. Maybe I'll just let it happen. Ura! <laughs> Ura! As Taka's sad screams evaded our, our skulls, we were forced to realize once again. But he, of course. He, but he. Of course he ha had to. Huh. What a disappointment. This is the end of the game. Byakuga, a guy just got turned into butter. He just got turned into butter. I don't even know how that happened. I don't know how the process... I don't know how you would blend a human to the point where there's no solids and it's just butter. <laughs> You're completely insane, you know that. A game? One of our friends is dead. Do you realize that? Of course I do, because this game is life or death, you stupid bitch. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. All that did was add barps to the fucking hiccups. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have a response, except that... I just don't understand why. Why did you go out of your way to disguise Mondo's crime? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because it made things more interesting. His voice was calm, emotionless, like the voice of death. It chilled me to the book. He's a fucking psychopath. Sci sociopath, sorry. La last night, when the murder took place, I was in the library, as usual. So he ignored the nighttime rule, too. That rule never mattered to me. I don't recall agreeing to it. Well, I don't particularly care. Please continue. The night grew late, and I stumbled up. I said I'd return to my room. Which is when I stumbled upon him. I spotted Mondo coming out of the girls' locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. What, you mean you actually witnessed the murder man? He was such a fool, he didn't have the slightest idea that I'd seen him. So you're saying you knew who the culprit was from the very beginning? Indeed, but if that been the end of it, how boring would that have been? I mean, what a waste of time to have the answer revealed right at the beginning. Which is why I decided to lend a little hel helping hand. I thought it'd be liven things up. You did all that to liven th This man's fucking crazy. This man's fucking crazy and I hate him. So after hearing the genocide jack from Toko, you decided to use that. To create a fake murder scene. But damn, man, if we hadn't figured out who had really done it, you'd have been dead too, right? Oh, I made him a cowboy for some reason. Well, obviously I'd have revealed the truth before it reached that point. Of course! Byakuya turned and looked me in the eye. I could feel his sharp eyes piercing in some... 
Thanks to a certain remarkable someone, it never did, and I was able to perform an interesting experiment. Once I do decide to become blackened, I now know who I'll have to watch out for. That was a test run to see how how I solve crimes. So he knows what not to do. This motherfucker! This motherfucker! <gasps> what? So that was your reason. Are you satisfied? Yes, we're done listening to your story. Moving on. There's something I'd like to ask Monokuma. Oh, I'm up next. You like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? My question is, why? Do you like them? But you know, this is a this is punishment, this is despair. It's not just for you. Oh, this punishment and despair is my gift to mankind itself. You're over-exaggerating. I am not over-exaggerating. These punishments are meant to transform all hope into despair. Is this like one of those goofy things? Like, is this like fucking Cube all over again? Like, turning hope to despair creates energy to stop the universe going to the heat death? <laughs> what do you mean? 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 Mean, 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 mean. Go grief, I don't understand why you have to pick apart every little stupid thing. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. In the end, I'm going to stand alone as the victim, and then everything will be revealed to me. Ah, uh, the noble son of a noble family. Truly, you understand me. Ooh, I think you started a terrifying friendship. <laughs> Shut up, I would never stoop to the level of a childish criminal like you. Just let me say this. After I've achieved complete victory, <laughs> you are up next. I'm going to find you and kill you. Understand? In the name of Togami family, for which victory is a foregone conclusion. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. So you name main character video game or something. No trash mob for you. I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you. <laughs> temper, temper. Sounds like someone needs a nap. <laughs> Fuck you, Monokuma. I hate you so damn much. Monokuma's laughter peeled across the courtroom, and, cert and the curtain closed on the case of Chihiro and Mondo. I knew that wasn't the end. The killing game would still continue, because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. <laughs> For those of us who are still alive, our worst fear and despair kept on multiplying. It was a kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in hell had more of a future than us. All of our courage, our effort, our friendship, it felt like it amounted to nothing at all. It was the worst kind of despair. All you have to do is stick together. Everyone stick together and stay far Far away from Byakuga. Who dis? Well, anyways, like I was saying, this is a pretty good spot. Yeah, a really good spot. And isn't it amazing how that girl went and killed someone before things even got a chance to get boring? Once things really get moving, it'll be like a ro roller coaster. There won't be any stopping it. Fear and despair change charge forward to the speed nothing can hope to match. But I must admit, I'm disappointed. I went all the pain and effort to making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. <laughs> You do remember, you were supposed to make the first move, right? Well, no biggie. You know I mean, do better now. Just do your best to make things more exciting from now on, okay? After all, that's what everyone wants to see. Do we have a mole? Is there someone... Is there someone... Someone in their group is working for Monokuma. I don't think it'd be Byakuga, even though I wouldn't put it past him. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> then you don't know my measurements far away. Who is it? The 16th high, high school student, I mean. <laughs> my, my, you're my surprise there. I know I said you'd ask anything, but... Super denied, ultra denied, demonic denied, because you see, that's my ace in the hole. There's another student? There's another student that we haven't met yet, somehow. Where are they hiding? <laughs> Chapter 2, complete! The end! Ten surviving. Yep. Yep, that's a thing. You got the crazy diamond present. I got his, I got his coat. I got his coat. That's depressing, my dudes. That's fucking depressing. <laughs>